Hey, Jasmine, this is Viola Wickwin at SEO. Thank you so much for chatting with me the other day and thanks for clicking on this video. So I'm gonna briefly show you three easy ways that you can improve your website so that you can start bringing in more customers. And if you're wondering why I'm making this video for you, um, it's pretty simple because there really are a lot of business owners out there who just don't have the time to make the internet work for them. Um, and it kind of holds them back from hiring a marketing agency. So especially seeing that they don't know who is and who's not an expert. So I found that by making these easy attack plans and giving them away for free, it allows some business owners to do this themselves. Um, some do call me back and ask for some help. So if you do want some help at the end of this, uh, feel free to reach out and we could talk about how we could partner. But if you want to do this yourself, please do. I'm just trying to help as many business owners as I can. Now, I'm going to talk to you today about content, backlinks, and citations. So first off, I want to say you have a really good looking website. I love that you have a call to action immediately up here. It looks like he definitely had some professional help with this. The only thing I want to point out is that um, Google really doesn't rank you based on how good looking your website is. They rank you mostly based on content. So if somebody goes to Google and they type in um, MedSpot, Google's job is to put them in front of the article that's going to answer all of their questions which typically is the article that has the most words on it. And the average website on the front page of Google for this keyword has about 1,500 to 2,000 words on it. So you wanna increase the content on your homepage at least to 1,500 to 2,000 words. Okay, um, the other thing is, after that, you want to make yourself trustworthy with Google and Google really bases that off of how many websites are linking back to you. So you want to get relevant websites linking back to you. And I'll, I'll jump over to this tool that I use called Arefs. I pay about $99 a month for it. And what I'm, what I'm referring to are backlinks. So it says here, you guys already have 38 websites that are linking back to you 90 times, which is, and actually 91 times, which is amazing because, you know, there are a lot of med spas out here in Atlanta that don't even have a website, let alone websites linking back to them. So kudos to you on that. And it looks like you guys uh, recently started business too. You started in uh, January of last year. So, and you've been on the up and up. So that's, that's a really impressive jump. Good for you on that as well. But let's take a look at your top competitor in this same tool. Okay, Aya. So Aya Skincare has 404 websites linking back to them over 2,000 times. Now you may not need 2,000. However, the strategy to win in this area would be to find out exactly which links are working for them. Go and find, uh, ask for a backlink on their page because the thing is, if it's working for them, it's gonna work for you. Now I do wanna point this out. Not all backlinks are created equal. So for example, some of these backlinks are going to give a lot more power. The, this, this number here is the, the power number. So some of these backlinks are going to give a lot more power than others. So let's say, for example, if you did some, um, if you did some, uh, somebody's makeup or you did some lashes or some work for someone that works in the Nordstrom Cafe, right, in Bucket, and they decided, hey, you know, let's go ahead and give you a, a a link on our page so we can link back to you because I own a pizza shop or I own this or whatever. That is obviously going to scream to Google a red flag because Google knows that you guys don't sell pizza for a living. So you definitely want to make sure you have relevant links linking back to you. Okay, the other thing and the last thing I wanted to talk to you about are citations. And the citation has everything to do with this area right here, which is the map pack area. It, it looks like Google kind of switched it up. It used to be under this. Now it's next to it. But I'm pretty sure if I click on this spot here where it says more businesses, there will be approximately 100 more businesses in this area. However, Google only showcased three. They only showcase the top three. Um, so the way to win in this area is to have more citations than your competitor. And a citation is simply your business name, address, and phone number listed throughout different directories across the World Wide Web, such as like Yelp, Yellow Pages, um, Facebook, Bing, Angie's List, um, LinkedIn, you, you kind of get the idea. So let's say, for example, Balance Aesthetics Med Spa has 150 citations, then I would get 150 citations for for vegan spa, right? And then I'll add another 150 on top of that. So that way, you know, you're outranking them month after month after month for each keyword. This way you can live in this area across the board for all your keywords. And the last thing I want to talk about is 
the way that another way to get content on this home page all these beautiful photos you have although google doesn't care how pretty the site looks if these photos are saved as the keywords that you're trying to get ranked for that's going to help as well too because the google robots only care about what these pictures say not what they look like so that's another strategy for you to win and in case you're wondering where are we getting these keywords from i mean you do have a good amount on your page as well but if we want to look up things such as like medical spa atlanta 150 people look for this per month this company is spa is getting 53 out of those 150. you see this is a very very strong keyword because it has the word it Atlanta in it. So these people that are looking for a medical spa live in Atlanta. Not necessarily this one where it just says medical spa and 20,000 people are looking for it, but that could be anywhere in the world, right? Even though they still get a good amount of traffic, but I highly doubt they're converting all of these into sales. But the conversion rate for these are a lot higher. I don't want to get too technical, but you kind of get the drift, the drift of what I'm saying here. Look, facials in Atlanta, 600 people are looking for this per month. They get 30 out of those 600 because they're in the seven spot. But those 30, I'm pretty sure, are converting into sales because it's a facial in Atlanta, Georgia. Right? So these are the type of keywords you want to save behind these photos on this first page. You have a lot of content on your back pages, but Google doesn't really rank the back pages before they rank the front page. So... That's all I have for you, Jasmine. Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video. And if you have any questions or if you, you know, found this helpful, feel free to leave me some feedback, whether you loved it or hated it. Um, but if you want to work with me, then the, my information is in the email or you could text, whatever works for you. Again, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you found it helpful and you have a great day.